I've been working on a prototype for a new user interface and if you've got a few minutes I'd really appreciate some feedback. Now it's a simple idea where we've got these little holographic projectors and they project these holographic icons. So as you approach those with the controllers they turn to a wireframe so it makes sense that you can stick your hand into them. And just to make it a little more interesting as they fade in you can apply a little bit of physics to them and they take the colours of the controllers that you touch them with just for fun. Now my main concern is that I'm not using any text in the screens and I don't know if I should really be adding some tool tips to try to explain the icons and I, I would prefer not to. So if I quickly go through the icons if you could mention in the comments to the video whether you think that you would understand them or whether it would be quite frustrating. So the first icon, hopefully you can see that that's like the shape of a play button. And that takes you through to a screen where you can select one of the three game modes. So the first one is an egg timer, and that would be a timed mode. The second one is an alien skull and crossbones, and that would be a sudden death type of game. And the third icon, an infinity symbol, that would be in an endurance mode. So you would just play that until you'd had enough. And up here we've got a back icon. The list style icon here, that would go to the high score table. The help icon, I'm hoping that I won't actually need that. And the cog here, that would take you to the settings page. Now this is where it gets a little more complicated and I'm having to use some animation to actually try and convey the meaning. So see if you can guess what this one is. So this is what it leads through to. And this would actually just be to change the anti-aliasing. And this one, so we're going from four blocks into eight blocks. And once you get into this one, you can hold your hand in the plus or the minus to change the slider and that would be changing the pixel density. And at the bottom we've got a power button and that would take you to a confirmation screen and that would actually quit the game. So as I say, if you can use the comments to tell me if that's too obscure and I need to include some text or whether you think we'd get away with that. So thank you. Cheers.